Yalin has gone to Beijing. She went last week, July 6th. And for those of you who do not know, we relied on China heavily to buy U.S. Treasury bonds. And for those of you who watch these videos, you know the Fed is blatantly stated it really does not want to finance the U.S. spending. How in the world we have gone one trillion in spending in five weeks. It's like, okay, who's buying it? And Yellen has gone to China after China has been selling with Russia and other countries. So it kind of makes you wonder what's going on. Is there a limit? Is she trying to extend a limit? I mean, there's a whole bunch of variables in this. It's like, okay, don't really know what's going on, but this seems to be an act of desperation. So she seems pleasant coming down the stairs. She's a very short woman and round for her height. Kind of reminds me of a Oompa Loompa. And very submissive to this gentleman. Constantly going down and bowing, heads bowing, whole body's bowing. It's just constant. And then it just, even looking around, bowing. It's, it's ridiculous how submissive she is. American ambassador, the same kind of mentality. In general, she is a submissive person. So you see that concept of submissiveness. It always makes me suspicious because she's not scared. And when you have the absence of fear in a submissive person, then you know that they're using that submission as a tool and will manipulate you. So here she actually uh, meets with her counterpart. It's almost like she's being rescued by the lady for this whole thing of bowing like some kind of bobblehead. Now we have gotten to the press conference. We're not going to watch the whole thing, but I do know the press did ask some very good questions. In particular, the one about the BRICS currency that is going to be backed by gold. How do you think these discussions uh, can make real progress when both countries appear equally determined to put national security first? Uh, and do you proceeding with some of the targeted actions that you mentioned uh, risk further acrimony with China? So I do believe that it's possible for both countries to be attentive to and to take actions to protect. All right, so our first serious question, and she's got the believe me look on. Believe me, I think we could do it. It's a deer in headlights moment. She is moving with it. So in her mind, she really believes that they can do this. And she's trying to convince her audience of that belief. Now, I guess the context is this woman is not that bright. For those of you who have been watching Yellen for decades, you know she's not that bright. There's always someone behind her telling her what to do. The fact that we haven't seen this person just makes me think it's the same person that was doing it last time. During these meetings to discuss um, a set of concerns, to listen to one another, and um, to pledge to maintain that openness. And so here and now you've got the head bobble effect. Positive, believe me, look. She's desperate now for you to believe this narrative. Now remember what I said about people who are very submissive but show no fear. They're manipulative. Now I know I said she's kind of dumb, but dumb people can manipulate just like smart people can. It doesn't mean they're successful in it. It doesn't stop them from trying. Next question goes to Andrea Schall from Reuters. Thank you, Madam Secretary. Um, the uh, Russian uh, government has announced that the, uh, it, it will launch a BRICS currency in August. And I wonder if you had a chance to speak with the Chinese. To All right, so we see a deep breath in that one. This Russian currency, it's coming in August. It's gold-backed. We actually do see stress in that. About that effort, you've spoken here and in, in other venues about not wanting to see any countries being forced to choose sides, this particular move would create. And as this question is being asked, you see the bobblehead moment of yes, yes, yes. And then it's going further down, down angle. She wants this woman to stop. Essentially a parallel currency to the U.S. as the world's reserve currency. Can you, you know, come up in your conversations? And you also talked about the um, head of the BOC the Chinese government has not yet announced that he will be taking place. Is it your understanding that Pan, Pan will take over as central bank governor? Thank you. So on the currency issue, I just want to reiterate what I've said in the past, 
which is, I think the United States can rest assured that the dollar. And now you see an extreme believe me look. She's actually got eyelids now of how far she's stretching her eyes out. Is going to play the dollar. We've got the bobblehead movement. Dominant role in international uh, transactions, facilities. And then she does that sweeping side. It's, it goes in a negative direction, but it's more of a sweep when she's talking about the international role. And she's moving with her hands. So she's open, she's bobbleheaded, and she's trying to convince you of the narrative. Oh, we can be together. I honestly think she believes this. It may be in the mentality of it, so we can have some context of why she believes this, that if you look at it just from a GDP standpoint, in her world, they believe, and therefore it's going to come through in body language, that they've got the upper hand. Whereas Russia and China and all the other ones, oh, they're all third world. Those people can't afford nothing. They're, they need us. And that could be the mentality. I personally don't think that's correct. Dating international transactions and um, serving as a reserve currency in the years ahead. Um, I don't see that role being threatened by any development, um, including the one, one that you've mentioned. Uh, I've said previously and- And she's got Muppet hand as she talks about this. She kind of hit it there for a second because she was finishing up her thought, but then it comes back. She's got Muppet hand. Muppet hand, as you see, her fingers are all together. They're not splayed out and moving because fingers generally, when it's a very open mindset and not um, pinpoint in some reality, are open. Hers are very muppeted, so she's corralled herself into this one area, which just goes to show her closed-mindedness on any ideas or any thought processes that are outside of what she believes. I would reiterate that um, because of the role of the dollar and its um, ability to enable us to um, implement sanctions, there certainly is motivation in countries around the world to find an alternative. But... Um, all the data of which I'm aware shows that the dollar is overwhelmingly close to 90% um, used in international transactions. So here we go. That believe me look is so high that she has eyelids. The data, and she knows what she's doing is manipulative because she says the data that I've seen, not all the data, not a far reaching data. She could just be looking at factoids between us and Europe. That could be her data. Again, context for this body language because she looks like she's telling the truth, except she's got the believe me look plastered on her face. Her body's moving. She's got Muppet hands. You know you're being manipulated. And I think that's all we need to really hammer on this crazy woman. If you like it, please share and subscribe. Thanks for watching.